All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Series E, where it is Intel Weekend. What a week it is uh, to actually be Intel Week. Find as a two-man, it's all up to Sleepy Panda here to try and survive for as long as possible. Going has been used from the other side. Teen tries to push in. Massive shot hits for 39. Tries a lot of damage. Throws down a good nade for himself as Tempest comes in with that bolt. Gets the knock onto Rolders. Almost gets a second here. Goes for a repeat with that Arsa Aves. And now it's a 1v2. Tempest is a one Man, wrecking machine. Look, blue armor is Nestle Pure Life. Pure Life, excuse me, coming in from the south side here, so we might get a good pinch here. And damage, but he does get the knock onto Matt Pickett. Here comes Team Intel though with the flank for the third party. Rockstar survived for now, but at what cost? Looks like they have a two brains, one controller. I'm gonna go ahead and toss in that EMP as well. So Hill now sitting with almost no armor, using that headshot angle extremely well though. As Tempest gets the knock onto Study, they fit. And taking a look at the leaderboard, Team Razor were able to do it taking first place with 92 points and team intel the frags that they were able to get there in that last game just inching out team rockstar by one point so that very crucial fight that took place just west of uh, sorting factory um, ultimately ended up in team intel's favor they take that win by one point up against team rockstar hey what's up i'm hill from team intel and i use an i7 9700k the slot is absolutely insane to think about. Great shots there with the Spitfire. Going to take a lot of damage onto that Travolter. Bubble gets used, but that's not going to be enough. This is Team Cheese. It's flying in. Oh my <laughs> gosh, are you insane? Intel, the best a gamer can get. Welcome back, guys, to Intel Week here at Series E. Jamerson joined. Once again, now by T-Squared, today is the pro night. And so we're gonna have 11 teams joining our partner teams today. And afforded an opportunity to try and reset. Here comes Team Intel though, with the aggressive bubble, the hit for purple with the thermite now, only on to the one as Team Tickets Hell right now, two brains, one controller are just slowly being poked away at his old armor. He goes for that bat as see hill going for that wide peak does have to be careful zone now closing in we're gonna take some damn ring of all things arc stars and nades are coming in as right now intel it looks like they've got the mad advantage don't know if Baxlon was ever res up into this as he was actually here comes the massive shots Baxlon does go down the team intel down to a duo here trying to finish this one off good usage of that knock shield towards the top there i think that's three See what's happening with the bubble being popped there for Hill. He does get charged immediately. Has the armor swap. You see, screws on to Team Intel. They're forced to just abandon Teen here. Hill taking a lot of damage as well. Tempest has gone down just like that. It's Hill by himself. Run. So once again, I want to say congratulations to Team Intel along with Team Cooler. But that's really going to be uh, do it for us this week. Uh, we will be back, of course, next week for more Series E starting on Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific time, like always. And this week, we have the pleasure of having Team Intel, the winners from our Pro Day, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. So how's Perfect. everyone feeling? I mean, winning two out of the first three games. Hill, you're the IGL, if I remember correctly from our first interview. How did it feel for you guys to get that dub and uh, start off so strong today? Um, It felt good. I'm trying to think back the games in my head, but... uh. It was a little bit of luck, but we also just played rotates really clean. We saw a lot of opportunities for like third parties and people being distracted, kind of looking outwards instead of like looking where to go next. So the games felt good and clean overall. Yeah, definitely. Tina, I want to talk to you guys about how yeah. you guys are able to make your rotations without having a recon character. So you guys find yourselves in these end zones. Are you guys able to judge based on other teams with recon characters on where to go? Or are you guys basing it ba off of seeing round one, seeing round two, and then going and making your play after um, that because you guys have so much knowledge. Uh, so for me, it's yeah, literally yeah. like, I'd say probably like 60% gut feeling and just I've been competing for so literally since the start of the game. So kind of, there's kind of like a patch, there's like a rotation of circles and it's kind of, you see the zone, you're like, okay, I can go here, here, and here. Let's aim for this spot. And then you start seeing some cryptos coming. You start seeing some pathfinders coming. It's like, oh, okay, I know where this is going. And then we just go there. Originally, I think there was a survey circle that ended up going more over towards 
the epicenter side and that was the game i believe that you guys won when you made a rotation over towards i think it was two brains one controller and team pringles mm-hmm. that was over down towards the bottom now was that a circle that was anticipated to possibly go over towards survey or did you guys think that you had to make your way over towards epicenter eventually um i mean those zones are so hard epicenter survey zones are probably the hardest hands down because if you're not in right away it's just game over so when we got to survey and we knew no one was there we knew it wasn't going there and it was most likely going to epi uh but we kind of had to take the situation we were given and then as zone closed we i saw a spot for us to play and then from there we just saw like third party third party third party third party and then we just took the one that brought us to height and eventually the win so i wasn't able to see you guys yesterday teen where did you guys land yesterday and when did you guys start going over towards fragment west because on our graphic we have you as like the sorting factory team right we saw earlier in series e you guys were kind of going over there now you're going over to, towards where Navi was contesting, Pop Tarts was contesting. Where did this come from, and how were you guys able to get that for free? Um, we honestly just the first game we were flying over and nobody was there, so we just took it because it's a, it's a good spot. I mean, um, and I don't know, I I don't really like to fight off spawn too much. So if there's something that's you know not bad loot, but it, and it's open, then it's always preferred. Yeah. Yeah, and it ended up working out really well for you guys because you don't need a beacon to scan as really good middle rotations. And I was expecting a couple of different teams to come over. One thing that I was wondering, Tempest, was what you were going to play because we see in the LCQ, you switch on over to Crypto. We know that you play Watson in Series Z. So what's that like for you switching between which, uh, between both characters and which one do you think is your strongest character? Um. Right now, it's probably Watson because I played it for so long. I'm still getting used to Crypto, but I think Crypto is a more versatile character. But with our play style, I think Watson works really well. And it has been working out really well. Hill, you were talking yeah. about how you're able to play off of different teams and things like that. And and how are you guys able to work the Watson into the meta right now? And has was that ever a conversation to potentially switch, switch Tempest off of Watson, even though he is a really strong Watson, and go with Crypto? Because we have seen a lot of Watsons come out of the meta. Maybe it's Olympus and Watson's just not that strong. Everyone's playing ranked, et cetera, et cetera. But what do you think about the current state of Watson? And what do you think you guys are going to stick with going forward? Um, I think we'll definitely stick with Watson going forward. I just, I love the character. I love the way you play with it. There's so many like little niche things that like a lot of teams don't know or like don't like use to the best ability with Watson that I'm definitely going to keep her. Um, but yeah, I thought many times of taking Watson out for either Bloodhound or Crypto or even Caustic, you showing how good that is. Um, but with Watson, especially it kind of depends where you land and what your heals are like, but, uh, it just, it's kind of a security and a stable, even if you're in a bad spot, if you get gen down, you get fences down, you can turn an open-ish area to like a bunker. So I love Watson and I'll keep using her. Yeah, I think Tempest plays a very strong Watson. One of the things that I noticed, Tempest, that you're able to do, and something that was very small, and I think this is kind of what Hill is talking about, is even though you may not be able to challenge something, there's sometimes where you're able to actually get fences down, even when you're not able to have a presence and poke and shoot and things like that. I noticed that's something that you're very good at, is you put fences down whenever you can, whenever you need to, and you have an extra presence. When you go to other Watsons, they're kind of just like, setting up in in small corners or making like rectangles and squares and things like that you actually are weaving things around and connecting them what do you what do you think um why were you guys switching from crypto during the lcq tempest to go back on over to crypto and then why why do you think that uh that was happening was it just like a a certain way that your team plays when because you guys aren't on the same team for you. I'm wondering why that is because you guys played so so well today. But uh, but either way, you guys both have very solid squads when it comes to the LGS. I'm just curious how you're able to even manage playing both of those characters at this moment, man. Um, well, Crypto actually, Six, my teammate for ALGS, um, is a really good Crypto main. So having him there definitely helps out with learning really quick. But Watson I've been playing since she came out pretty much. I was a Watson main. So that kind of comes second nature. So it kind of makes it pretty easy to switch back and forth. All right, you guys are creeping up on the standings after today. Do you think that you guys could potentially take over the first spot over Team Razor and kind of take Series E for all of the partners team partner teams? Hill, I want to know your your thoughts after this because this has to give you guys a lot of confidence after today. It does definitely. I mean, I always knew we can win every week if we uh, go into one hundred ten percent and execute the way we need to execute and play the way we can play. Uh, but 
I love the Razor Boys, but they are very strong at a certain play style that works really well. You can see it on uh, the Tuesday days, the open tournament style. They're smashing out almost 100 points every single week. I'm I'm always going to play how I would on LAN or how I will for every tournament, and that's going zone, playing consistent in a repeatable way that's not relying on kind of how other teams play. So I think Razor will keep edging out that first play. I think they'll do it, but I also know we also can have a chance at it as well. So it's not out of the picture. I like the answer. I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys play next week. And congratulations on your big win today. Uh, do you guys want to give a shout out to anybody? Maybe maybe to Team Intel for helping you guys win during Team Intel week. Of course, the power of my i7. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice PC. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it in the shot, but I got the i7 in there as well. All right, love to, love to hear it, guys. Congratulations again. It was awesome to see you guys perform, and it was a lot of fun. I don't think Teen missed one shot with the wingman when we were on a screen for about two minutes, no, and then crazy. <laughs> shot over to the Mastiff. It's nice, to see, it's nice to see some wingman gamers. I appreciate that from you guys. But again, congratulations, and we'll see you next week.